bring the head back some. Now, character, you can have him have a huge head if you want, you know, on semi slash realistic, which means semi character means character. I'm going to take that saw mark right off here just to because the head is going to be closer realistic than. Okay, I think we can have the nose right there because the nose comes out of the head because it's going to come out like this. And the head is uh, more of the bean shape. Let's take some of this off because uh, now this, I am not this size. I'm not going to put ears in them. If you want to, leave enough for ears. See, now we're getting the head. Now it's starting to look. Now you're starting to see it come out. Oh, there's some saw marks left. Can you get that saw mark down there? Take a look at the rest of the hat. It's a nice chisel mark. Good. Trying to make sure I got enough in front for the buckle. Hope I didn't get too slappy with the carving. And I still need to. You know, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this without my. Still need to bring up. Ooh, careful. I heard a crack, but that was the crack here. I might indeed slip and take too much off and break it. I don't want to do that. This way. I want to bring the chest up a little bit so I can so I can eye it a little better. So I want to make sure we have enough for that uh, big white collar. So here, let's give it a quickie. Give you a here's what we got so far. So you can look and stop. Head is tilted some. You look at straight at the camera. Maybe a little bit this way so I don't have too much shadow. I think we still might be okay with that hand or for the gun, but like I said, hope you left that. If not, we'll We'll think of something. That's one thing I always think of something. If I goof up, they always say, "Put your car." If you, if you don't like it, just throw it in the fire. I don't even remember the last time I threw a, a wood carving in the fire. If that, there's always something. Or you can, or you can like uh, worst case, like let's say this is all screwed up. Well, then you can probably just cut cut along here and make a bust. Put a you know, and use the legs for, I don't know, use a, uh, we've, <laughs> the wife has done, so you put a little, carve a little, like a, a head here, and then there's the Easter Bunny ears, and there's always something. Always something you can do with, either fix it. Another thing, too, is also, you could cut all the way down, and then you would have, now you have three pieces, you have a big big hand and the gun. Not sure if I'll do that, but I prefer not to. To figure something. And now we are thus far. Let me see if I can just, can't get it hard this way. How about this way? Give it a quick run around what we got so far. We'll get to the details a little more. We'll shape. We'll shape it as we go. I'm going to start uh, working on the figure here. Um, I think I'm going to bring this in a little bit, kind of almost like a, this comes in like this, like this. Same in reverse. A 
what should we start with uh, a knife, I suppose? Maybe, you know, let me get kind of close up here. And also would be a good time to start rounding out the arms. You can use a chisel instead of a knife. I prefer the knife right now. Get the saw marks off. Careful. Slipped off the thumb. That's why I don't like showing that. It's another reason why I get I slip is when you got the knife really flat on the surface. And then it slides. Let's sweep the arms a little bit more. Uh, he has, let's go with the real pictures here now. Or not the, the real pictures. Kind of comes, has this weird cuff here. He doesn't. I do like, I do use the cuffs. So if his hands I'm going to come around the Bible, the cuff would be here, that would be right, that would be about right. But let's thin it a little bit, but we don't want to thin the hand, the hand will come out. We can always shape the hands later. Same with this side. And there's probably the cuff in the hand here. What's I think what uh, what's what I've done to many Santas is that I would I would drill into the into the body more and it looked more presentable. If I went this way, I'll keep this. Way. Anyways, oops.
All right. Oops. I wasn't going to keep the conversation going here. I don't know. Um, Thanksgiving traditions and so on and so forth. I suppose not. I don't know. Carving. <clears throat> we also have a another show called the uh, Metro Wood Carving Weekend in Fridley, Minnesota. Do the shoulder there, which is actually. Well, Coincidence, it's a, usually the weekend before Thanksgiving of the year. I'll be there too, teaching. Rough outs and all. Let's keep working on the arm here. Oops, I'm burying the tip. We'll straighten that out later. An interesting weekend because you uh, they feed you for lunch. We're in the VFW Hall in Fridley, and uh, get a nice hot meal. Order. I have some uh, caterers come out. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to do a little bit more shaping here because I think that's about the last of almost the last of the uh, saw marks. See some there, but anyways, let's take my my cell in. I'm just going to give enough room for arm and hand. Alright, and then um, I'm going to take the knife marks off first. There's the elbow. I can come up towards the shoulder a little more. Same thing on this side here. I don't spend. I brought in the shoulder a little more. There we go. Getting better. I'm going to, no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down a little, the book down a little bit. Okay, now I'll take the just skin for right now. I'm going to skin the saw marks off, just skinning it. Now the book itself. Okay, and like I said, I come down here. There's the hand. There's the cuff. But we really don't need the book to be so big, I don't think. Just wanted to leave an extra for... And let me see, when you hold it... Too bad I don't have a book. Usually, okay, see, see the arm is in this direction, so let's have the book go in that direction too. And then have it come up. And have this come down. Let's see what happens here. 